Hey guys, this is Dennis, and welcome to Blue Zoo. Today we're going to talk about the different sizes we have for our hides. We carry extra small, small, medium, large, extra large. I wanted to go over with you guys on what size fits for what pet. So. <laughs> Bear with me, thank you. So let's pick out some different hides so we can look at them and compare them to each other. And we'll be, uh, yeah, I, I, I hope it'll be interesting for you. I've got a small one here. Look at that. Get this vein running through but also i don't know if you guys can see it <laughs> the lines going through this rock beautiful okay. you see it on the back <laughs> the small cave this is a really good size for leopard geckos and any other small lizards. This small cave is a perfect size for leopard geckos. Now, if they're full grown, you might want a medium sized cave, but the small should be plenty enough. But if you want to give them some extra space, you can definitely go with a medium. I would I would say a large is way too big for a leopard gecko, since you know they curl up in the corners of the caves. Let me grab a large real quick. Here we've got a large. It's kind of got a green tone to it. It's very pretty. We want to give you the opportunity to use the best material or the best cave you can for your reptile and making them out of stone I, I mean this is this is what they use out in the wild or they'll burrow but they all climb around rocks and nooks and crannies these caves they make a beautiful basking platform just being able to provide you with an option it is there if you want it why do we use stones to create our caves with because that's what they use out in nature. <laughs> Just to give you an idea on size, we can we can here. Let's let's use this. A little tape measure here. Our small caves, they're around eight inches wide. They're about five inches deep and you know five inches tall. The opening four inches by like three inches. Our large caves, you know, they range anything probably around 12 inches, 13 inches, 14 inches. They're a little bit taller. They have way more space on the inside. The large caves, they're they're pretty good size for growing your mastic or a, a bearded dragon that is not fully grown yet. Now they, they might fit in it, but for a full size bearded dragon, you would probably want to go with one of these with an extra large cave just to give them enough space. These are a perfect size for them to be basking on to. Let's see if I can't find a medium cave. Here, let's check this one out. I love the opening on this one. I really love this opening. We really try to do our best with having an organic look to our openings. 
You can, you can see when we cut our rocks, we try to give them a natural angle sometimes. It gives them something to climb up on. It, it also dulls their claws. I really like the opening on this one. All of the rocks for our caves, they're, let's say, special picked. <laughs> We go through and hand pick all of our rocks for any product we make out of them. But the cave specifically, we take, we really take our time picking the right rock. It really all starts with picking the right rock when you work with stones. You, you, don't, you don't want to pick one with cracks running through it. You know, you don't, you don't want to pick one that's not going to create a nice, how do I want to call it? We really try to pick shapes that you would find out in nature. And we already, we, we imagining the way we're going to cut the opening into it. When we pick the rocks for the caves, we really try to pick a rock that's going to create a natural top for them to bask on. But also, we, Right, we don't want to. We don't want to pick a rock that's gonna look out of place after we cut the bottom. Like something that is a shape that you wouldn't find out in nature. the The goal with these is really, I mean, aesthetically pleasing, but also functionally sustainable. You know, this is this is a really good example right here. It creates a nice ledge for them to climb up on and then you know they can hang out here and chill and bask get warm let's look at some close-up shots of these When we create the openings on these caves, we really try our best to mimic a natural look, like it would look out in a wild tomb. Let's say maybe, you know, there's rocks stacked on top of each other, and it, it creates kind of a nook for them to climb into or crawl into, and they can hide in there, and they feel safe. When picking the right cave, you definitely don't want to go too big, because you might think you want a really really big one but if you go too big i feel like there's just too much space in there for them they usually curl up against walls right they like they like tight spaces so giving them a cave that is not too big but the right size also not too small you know it, it, it's really ideal so you should really do your research on what size cave you need for your reptile or your fish or your amphibian let me rearrange these I really hope you guys enjoy these type of videos. When we shape our caves, we try to create, we don't try to create, we create a natural flat top for them to bask on and nothing. If you have any questions or any thoughts on this, please leave comments at the section down below. Thank you.